Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Tom Turquoise, FEMA Director. As many of you may have heard of last night's tornado in Moore, Oklahoma, and the devastating effects that it's had on a community. Moore, Oklahoma is a relatively small community of around 56,000 people, but it is a community that has schools, colleges, firemen, policemen, mothers, daughters, fathers, sons. Early reports are saying that 70 people have been confirmed dead and hundreds of others have been injured, but everyone is feeling the effects of this devastation. President Clinton has declared this a natural disaster, so FEMA, along with local departments, as well as federal agencies, are working to get this problem resolved. Uh, the cleanup efforts have already begun, and we are trying to find uh, people that are still trapped and getting people safe, as well as the medical care and attention that is necessary. Tornadoes are nothing new to us here in Moore, Oklahoma. We experience them quite often living in Tornado Alley. Our children are put through countless fire drills every year. Our firemen do fire drills uh, for tornadoes. Our students do tornado drills as well as fire drills. Our police department is very versed in how to respond to devastations caused by tornadoes. FEMA is a federal agency who prides themselves on their responses to natural disasters, as you guys will see in the future. So we are working 24 hours a day, seven days a week, until the cleanup and recovery efforts have been resolved. At this time, I would like to open the floor if there are any questions about what we have going on here in Oklahoma. Sir. Mr. Turquoise, Mr. Turquoise. Yes. Where are the injured being taken? Well, our injured are being taken to the local hospitals. As we know, uh, we have three local hospitals. Two of them have been wiped out from the tornado. So we have the one. We're also working with the hospitals in Oklahoma City. They are opening their doors to us and helping with the recovery uh, of the victims as well as the aid. So with that being said, our main highway, Highway 35, is the main pipeline in and out of the city. So we would ask individuals to please try to keep the highway traffic clear so we can allow the recovery, rescue efforts, as well as emergency medical facilities, aid uh, departments, access to our, to our city and access out of it just in case uh, they need to get them to Oklahoma City safely. Any other questions? Sir, what about people who want to volunteer? It's a great question. That's a great question. Uh, in times like this, obviously everybody would like to volunteer. Um, sometimes they can do more harm than good. So we would ask individuals, if they would like to volunteer, please to report to Moore County High School. They have a department set up uh, in the gymnasium. They can brief people on the hazards uh, that, that come with the recovery of, of these houses that have been collapsed or buildings that have been collapsed. So please go to the high school if you want to volunteer. Don't put yourself in danger uh, of possibly injuring yourself uh, with a building collapsing on you. If, you. if you want to volunteer, please. If you know anybody that you think might be trapped, uh, please, we also ask to not go in yourself to notify the local authorities and uh, they, will, they will try the uh, rescue and recovery efforts. Um, we don't want anybody to then endanger themselves and then, then be part, become part of the people that need to be rescued. One more question. Mr. Mr. Turco is over here. Yes, please. Yes, sir. What can we do with, uh, what can we do to be more prepared next time? Well, like I said earlier, tornadoes are nothing new to us here in Oklahoma. Unfortunately, all of the preparation uh, that we do with the with all the drills. Um, if you're at home, you have the underground basement facilities, the schools. You know they go in rooms without windows, duck their heads, maybe hide under desks. Uh, with the fire department, their responses. With all that practice, it's kind of tough to to really prepare you for the real thing. 
So we just ask people to continue to take these drills seriously. Also, if you're at home and you have an underground shelter to have a, a land radio maybe, food, water, supplies, just in case you become trapped uh, within the basement if, you're, if your building has collapsed on you or has collapsed and you're unable to get out. Uh, have a plan, make sure you have families and ways to notify and if you have not notified them by a certain time that maybe something has happened and they can try their, uh, they can let authorities know that they haven't heard and maybe we can um, get you guys out, get people out safely. So, all right, well, I am Tom Turquoise, Director of FEMA, and I look forward to keeping you guys updated uh, on the great progress that we make with the recovery efforts here in Waterloo. Thank you, have a good day.